Hello and welcome back to another episode of An Injustice for All MMA. My name is David. And this is for UFC 271 Adesanya versus Whitaker 2. Now, normally, you know, I, I come in this really calm and chill, and I'll probably stay calm and chill, but, you know, there are certain fights that make you wonder, you know, there's a lot of in-between, there's a lot of gray in fighting. And what confuses me sometimes is when it gets applied and when it doesn't get applied. And to be fair, that's probably where the judges come in, right? This whole show is about judging. And there are certain styles that hurt judging. Let's just be honest. There are certain styles that help judging and make it much more clear. We can argue that almost every style helps judging up until, you know, lack of activity, point fighting. Those type of styles don't help judging. They don't. They leave it in the gray area of what you like what is what is a heavier strike those kind of things and the reason why i start off like this is because we'll get to it the main event in my eyes was that fight okay off the key if it weren't for a certain round which we'll get into i should be calling the first injustice of the night but we're not going to because there's a small little nuance right and we've had this with a couple fights in but, but we'll forget about it. We'll get to that at the end. This whole thing we're doing now is honorable mentions. There are no injustices. It's all honorable mentions for right now, which is good. A reminder that is a good thing. It's just me nitpicking scorecards. It's not me saying, oh, this scorecard is incorrect per se. It's just saying you inflated the scorecard or you devalued the scorecard. So, that kind of thing. It's just me nitpicking. Okay. First, first honorable mention. Dan Drage versus Morozov. This, this fight ends in a submission for Dan Drage. But the first round, I scored it 10-9. Um, in that round, Morozov got one takedown with ground and pound. Outstruck and dropped Dan Drage twice, right? Clear, clear round for him. But you need to understand, even with all those things I just mentioned, it's this isn't a 10-8. This is not a clear 10-8, and it shouldn't even be put in the realm of a 10-8. But we read the judges' scorecards. Daniel Mergliotta, 10-9 from Morozov. Doug Crosby, 10-9 from Morozov. And then Patrick Patlin, a 10-8 from Morozov. Honorable mention for him. Another random 10-8. Again, personally, I don't like giving 10-8s. There are rounds that are obviously 10-8s or in between 10-8s. But this is this is an exaggeration. So honorable mention there for Patrick Patlin. We go to the next thing. Martinez versus Lawrence. That's second honorable mention. My scorecard reads 29-28 for Lawrence. Me giving him a 10-9 in the first and the second round. The judges. Judges had it. Jeff Rexrode had it 29-27. Uh, with him giving a 10-8 in the second. Patrick Padlin, 10-8 in the second. And uh, Mike Beltron, 29-28. His scorecard reflects mine. I was going to say... Oh, over-exaggeration on the 10-8. But no. I brought this into the honorable mentions because in that second round, Lawrence got two takedowns and two knockdowns with ground and pound. I didn't give the 10-8, and neither did uh, um, Mike Beltron, but two judges did, and even when I was watching it, I still was like, this isn't the possibility room of a 10-8. This could definitely be given a 10-8, which is why I just put it in the honorable mentions category just to mention it, but it's not a 10-8. I'm... I'm I don't think it's a 10-8, but it's a possibility that it could be a 10-8. 
no one gets an honorable mention, obviously. We go now to the third honorable mention. One of the disgusting scorecards. Um, Modafferi versus O'Neal. My scorecard reflects 30-27. 10-9 in all three for O'Neal. And the judges, Kerry Hatfield has 29-28. First two for uh, for O'Neal. Ivan Guzman had it 29-28. First two for O'Neal. And Robert Alexander gave the uh, had a 29-28 for Modafferi and had the first and the third for Modafferi. Now, I want to start off with this. When I heard this initially, I thought to myself, this isn't even a 29-28 for anybody. This is a 30-27 definitively. It's a 30-27 definitively. First, in the first round, O'Neal outstruck Modafferi, it's clear as day. Second round, she outstruck her. Modafferi got a takedown at the very end. At the very end. At the very end. But it didn't matter. It wasn't relevant. There was no ground and pound. It's not like the strikes were close, so it made you think, okay, Modafferi won the round. No. She was outstruck clearly, and then Modafferi got a takedown at the very end. Still. O'Neal's round. Third, O'Neal outstrikes Modafferi again. Modafferi gets a takedown in the third, but again, it's an irrelevant takedown. doesn't matter. I want to give an honorable mention to all three judges. There is no way on this planet that you give Modafferi a single round. All three judges get honorable mention, but a special honorable mention. Honorable mention to Kerry Hatley, even uh, Ivan Guzman, but a special one to Robert Alexander for the first and the third. The first doesn't make sense on on an objectable level. I can see why he gets it. Now, when I say I can see why he gets it, I'm not saying I can see his argument for giving her the round. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, yeah, she was landing. Maybe he got caught up in her strikes more than the multiple others that landed that were coming from the other side, but it's a really bad scorecard from Robert Alexander. So honorable mention to him, but honorable mention to all three because this fight should... I've never really said this before. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll have a 30-27 on my scorecard and I'll... I'll probably hold off, right? So a judge will have 29, 28, or maybe all three will have 29, 28. And I'll go, eh, maybe I scored a round wrong or whatever. No, no, no. This was a fight where all three are O'Neal's. And it's, and it's not even close. You can't even put your mind into the, like, Robert versus Adesanya fight where, it's, where that fight we'll get to is hilariously close. Um... Honorable mention, all three judges. It's actually really bad. Next honorable mention, Arlovsky versus Vandera. I had a 29-28 Arlovsky. First two. The first two to Arlovsky. This fight also ended in a split D. Okay, you had Jeff Rex Road. He reflects my scorecard for Arlovsky. You have Douglas Crosby. Or Doug Crosby, excuse me. He reflects my scorecard again with Arlovsky. Then you have the same guy. Robert Alexander. Gave the last two rounds. 29-28. Gave the last two rounds. To Vandera. Now I'm going to read off the description. Arlovsky outstruck him in the first two. First two rounds. And in the last round. Vandera outstruck him. Outstruck Arlovsky. I, I don't. I'm confused. I'm confused looking at this scorecard. It makes no sense. These are clear rounds. These are like these aren't even like hard to score rounds. But it, there's nothing more you can say. It's just another bad one. So honorable mention there to Robert Alexander. Next honorable mention. 
next, next, next honorable mention is Hernandez versus Moicano. Now, in my head, I, you know, I didn't want to give this honorable mention, but I'm still going to. It's, uh, I gave, this fight ended in a submission uh, for Moicano. But the first round, while it was a tad bit close, it was, you still knew who won the round. Um, I had it. A 10-9 in the first for Moicano. In that first round, if you remember, it was close on the feet. It was actually relatively close on the feet. But Moicano got a takedown. This is one of those standard rounds where when it's close on the feet and one person shows it, it mixes it up, if you will, if that's a better word for what I'm trying to find, you give him the round. And Moicano won this round clearly. Clearly, these these are standard rounds. These are rounds that, that all over the place. We've scored rounds like this. Douglas Doug Crosby and Saul Saul Diamato reflect my scorecard. Patrick Patlin again. I'm not even gonna say again. I'll, I'll, Patrick Patlin gives a 10-9 to Hernandez. Honorable mention there for Patrick Patlin. It's, it's one of those things where these are just standard scorecards. I think it's just a, it's just a bad scorecard in that first round. It's bad. It's bad. So honorable mention there for him. Now we get to the real reason, right? All that is fluff. Now we get to the real meat and potatoes. Okay. Last honorable mention on this card. Adesanya versus Whitaker. This is the second fight between them. My scorecard reflects 48-47 Whitaker. Now you're thinking, why isn't this in the honorable mentions? Because, and before I say why, I gave rounds 2, 4, and 5 to Whitaker. Round 2, I put a marker on his close. Because even after that round ended, you could actually, you can argue, you can maybe, you can give it to Adesanya. That round is really close, so... For the record, one and three I gave to Adesanya, two, four, and five I gave to Whitaker, 48 47. So if you use the close marker and you give one to, and you give two to, to Adesanya, then it would be 48 47 his side, right? Which is why I didn't put it in the honorable men's category. Same thing with uh, that I did a couple weeks ago with uh, the Figueredo and uh, Moreno fight, right? But again, this fight is razor close. I put a close marker on two because it's the round where you can argue for both, for both people. But one is definitively out of Sonya's. We'll, we'll go through it now in a second. One, out of Sonya outstruck Whitaker and dropped Whitaker. It's definitively his round. Three, it's really close on the feet. With the edge to Adesanya, he landed more strikes. But Whitaker got a takedown. He did nothing with the takedown. So, blah. That doesn't really matter. Four and five are essentially the same round. I know they're not. If you, you know, for the people that are really objective about it, they're not the same round, objectively speaking. But they are the same round in principle. Close on the feet. Well, actually, they're not the same round. Let me rephrase that. It was close on the feet. Whitaker... Definitely had more shots. The cleaner shots outstruck Adesanya, barely, if you will, if you want to be specific, and got a takedown. So, outstriking him, and he got a takedown, mixing it up, if you will. Go to round five. That one's cl that one's as clear as day for Whitaker. He outstrikes Adesanya, and he got a takedown. This is my first time reading the scorecards. I'm about to read them in a second. That's my case. Now to round two, where close on the feet, Whitaker got a takedown and a few shots. Remember, he had those few shots when uh, Adesanya was coming up from that takedown. That, for me, made the difference. That takedown and those shots made the difference, but it's very close on the feet. I can't really tell you who outstruck who in that second round. That's my reasoning for giving it to Whitaker. But you can see, you can possibly see someone giving it to Adesanya. That round is really close. Every other round, 
is a 2-2. It's a 2-2 situation where it's 2-2 and the deciding one is round two. Um, the judges scorecards. Jacob Montalvo has a 48-47. Okay. Like I said, the close mark round two. So he scored, he scores 48-47 for Adesanya. The second round, he gives to Adesanya. And the last two, he gives to Whitaker. So he sees exactly what I'm seeing. Minus round two, obviously. But he see, his, his scorecard is, oh, it's not bad. It's a good scorecard, right? You then go to Doug Crosby. His scorecard reflects Jacob Montalvo's card. It's the same exact scorecard, right, with him giving out a sign you two, but and the last two rounds he gives um to Whitaker. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because when I was watching it, two is actually it's a little close, but but it's still Whitaker's. And I'm and I'm glad that two judges saw it the way I saw it, which was Whitaker won that round. Like it's objectively his. Round four is objectively his. five is his. Uh, like no argument, five assists. Four people seem to have some people have a problem with, but four is objectively Whitaker. So we have established that two, uh, four, and three, four and five, four and five are Whitakers, and two is the murky water situation. Mike Beltron, start. This is this is the part where I get mad actually. Right, this, this is the part where I get mad because his scorecard, it, it's giving me, it's reminding me of the first fight between Figueredo and Moreno, where I believe it's Junichiro Camito's card, which shows Moreno winning in certain areas, but losing in areas that he definitely shouldn't have lost. So, round one for Beltron, correct, right? 10 9 out of signs. Round two, he reflects my scorecard, which is he gives the second to Whitaker. So, he saw what I was saying. Three, he gives out of sign. It's four and five that now have me confused. Let's just start here. We won't even touch four yet. Because some people claim four belongs to Adesanya, which, no. It's just, it's, it's inaccurate. It's false. It's not true. It's a lie. But he gives five to Adesanya. We can objectively say it with, no, with just credible eyes. That scorecard should be thrown in the trash. Five isn't, five isn't even Adesanya on a bad day. So, off the top, Honorable mention for Mike Beltran for for round five. You know, if this scorecard came, and I'm being soft here, if this scorecard came 48-47 out of Sonya, and he and he had it the exact same way minus round four, I wouldn't care. But he gives five to out of Sonya. Five is nowhere near out of Sonya. Same with four. Four is nowhere near it. Listen, I'll be lenient with it, but no. Nowhere near it. Uh, you know, I, I, I finished scoring and I, th- and I looked and I thought to myself, I was like, man, the way, you know, this is an knock on the commentary, but the way the commentary was talking, I was like, man, maybe I, maybe I saw it. Maybe I saw it wrong, right? I, maybe I saw it wrong. And I just thought in my head, I was like, no. You know, if you look at after round three, right, because two is close. I was saying one, one and three. After three, when I when I finished four and I wrote my scorecard for four, I said, in my head, Whitaker's landing the cleaner shots here. Take down. I was saying still not doing enough to win this right. One, uh, four, four and five. He didn't do enough to win four and five. So I was kind of confused by the. I was really miffed by the judges' scorecards. Um, I thought Whitaker should have won, but this isn't an injustice. It's not at all because we're looking at a round two that you can kind of give to either person. Um, so those are my that, those are my scorecards and those are my thoughts on the whole thing. Um, 
Great night of fights, as always. Always a great night of fights. The prelims are still king. Even though even though the main card was great, actually. I think if I'm looking at it correctly, that, that green fight was amazing. Um, and then you had a finish up until the last uh, the last fight of the night. And and the prelims were nice too, so great night of fights. Um, as always, thank you for listening, and God bless.